Hi everyone, it's Miriam, and today we're going to do a dirty pour with a twist. I'm thinking that based on this canvas and the paints, you can guess that we're going to do an ocean beach kind of piece today. I've painted my 8x6 canvas, these two colors, more to give me a guideline on where I want to pour the colors I've chosen. A dark blue, a medium blue, a seafoam green and white for the water, and three levels of tan for the beach. And in the medium tan, I've added a little bit of gold just to add some sparkle to the sand. All the paints that I used are just cheap craft paints that you can get at any of um, the craft stores. And these are usually about anywhere from 80 cents to $1.40 a bottle. And if you get a coupon, you can get them for even less. For my paint mix, I use usually two parts paint to about three, sometimes four parts Floetrol, which you can get at any of the big box hardware stores. And I add a couple of drops, anywhere from two to four, sometimes five drops of silicone into each paint. Um, I use this kind of silicone as opposed to the spray because the sprays smell too strong, are horrible. I mean, they just, the whole house smells. This stuff, hardly any smell, if any smell at all. Now for some paints, just paint and Floetrol is sufficient to get a consistency that works well for what we do. But sometimes you need to add a little water. So the ratio may end up being two parts paint, to three to four parts Floetrol, and then maybe one part water. I like um, my paint to be the consistency of heavy cream. Not milk, not honey, not yogurt, but like heavy cream. So the goal is to have a sort of watery area here, a sandy area here, and I want to, beyond that, make it look as if the water is crashing onto the beach, not just laying alongside the beach. So let's see if we can pull that off. So I'm going to just start the pour. I mean, make mixing the paint for the dirty pour. Adding colors until I'm happy with the amount and the mix. I need to save some white for what we're going to do later, so I don't want to use all of that up. I don't want to put too much of the dark color because I want the dark more to be accents here and there um, just for some definition but not be like a main color. I'm thinking that that might be enough for the ocean. Probably more than enough. And now for the sand, since there's going to be less of it, I don't need as big a cup. And then what I'd like to do to all my colors after I've mixed them is just kind of kind of make like a little cross in the middle and that's it. I don't want to stir it because I don't want the colors to, to blend too much in the cup, but a little. Now since I want to have some control over where the paint lands, I'm not going to do a flip cup, I'm going to actually pour. 
and this will let me see where everything ends up. And I kind of want to do sort of a stripey kind of thing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love blue. So this is making me ridiculously happy <laughs> to look at. Ugh. Alrighty, let's move it around a little bit. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how pretty this is. And I don't need a ton of cells for this. I really wanted more bands of blue. And that's exactly what we're getting, which is so perfect. I want to encourage the paint to run down here. And then also here. So I'm just putting some paint on areas that haven't gotten it naturally so that the paint will be encouraged to drip down in that area more and it'll do it with the banding and the cells. I'll show you that when we're done. Need to let it run off a little bit on that side so that we have more cells and striping running down that side. Okay, that looks great. Ugh, even the paint that's spilled over on the side is so pretty. Okay, so now for the beach pour. Now for that, I don't necessarily want banding, so I'm going to be a little bit more haphazard about how I pour this. Not so much with a stripey look. I want this to be more swirly, crazy, you know, in fact, I may even do a little of this kind of thing. Ooh, the gold is really pretty here too. I'm going to let these meet up. Okay, now we want to let that... Hmm. I think... I'm just going to... sort of... do the sides with the leftover paint. First before I do the tilting. That'll ensure that when the paint runs off the side, it'll follow the wet paint that's already there. Well, this turned out to be seriously the perfect amount of paint. Let's do some tilting. Oh my gosh, the gold is so nice for this. I highly recommend that if you guys do this. Add a little gold to one of your paints. It gives it such a nice quality. It gives the tan more depth, you know. So now it's running off the side here. 
And like I said, I will show you the sides when it's all done. I'll take you down to look at the sides. Okay, now I need to move back that way because I need more beach. Perfect. Okay. All right. I'm going to run the torch a little bit on the sand just to bring up, I guess, a little bit of texture in it if it wants to even do anything. Hmm. All righty not selling up a tremendous amount but honestly that's okay and we'll do it through the water just a teeny bit just through a couple of bands and that's it okay now what I want to add that's a little risky because I don't know if it's going to work. It works in my head, so we'll see if it works in real life. Is I want to create the illusion of sort of crashing waves. So what I'm going to do to hopefully achieve that is I'm pouring a thin line of white along the separation between the beach and the sand and the water. Not a tremendous amount, because there's a lot of paint on this canvas already. And since I don't know if this is going to work, I don't want to risk Okay. Now I need to turn this around because of the direction that I need to blow this in. Okay, and now I'm going to use a straw, just your standard drinking straw, and I'm going to blow the white onto the sand. Hope that makes sense. We'll see what happens. I like it. So now I'm going to blow some blue onto the white. Oh, it's causing this awesome lacing. Can you guys see this? Oh, this is making me so happy. I don't know what to say. All right. Need a little bit more white here. Make one big crashy area over here.
and I'm going to stop there because sometimes you can overwork something. Wait. Yeah, I'm going to stop right there because I love it. I want some of that lacing. I wish it would happen more over here. I'm going to see if the torch can make it come up at all. Don't know. Yeah. I love it. I am a happy, happy camper. And I hope that it works for you too. I'm sorry about the glare of the lamp. Let me move that out of the way. Sorry, I didn't even realize that that was there. How awesome is that? Paint is incredible. There is so much fun to be had with it. All right, I'm gonna take you down now to look at it in more detail. Okay, here we are, down closer up, so that you can really see the effect of blowing the paint. How cool is that? And then the banding is so pretty, I can't. Ugh. I am trying not to squeal like a little schoolgirl. Then let me show you the sides. So you want to let the paint run off the side with a little bit of pattern. And I'm going to have to wipe up these little drips a little bit, too. I wish you could see the effect of the gold. I don't know. I'm not able to really capture that. Um, oh, yeah. There you go. It's got a little bit of a sparkle. So that feels more sand-like. Well, you guys, that's it. I hope you got something out of this. I had a blast making it and hope that you will try it. If you do, please leave me a comment and tell me all about it. Please share this video with your friends, anyone that you think might be interested. If you are uh, happy with it, definitely leave me a thumbs up. And absolutely subscribe. I have lots more ideas and I am really happy to share whatever comes into this crazy head of mine. Thank you so much for watching. Go out and be creative and let your creative nature shine. Bye now.